here and welcome back to a new um, quiz challenge tag thing on my channel. You know, I sometimes I do this because it's fun and it's a little bit more, um, what it brings more variety to my uh, channel. So today I am, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm doing the Living That Dolls tag. And this was started by, and I have my phone here for the questions. So this was started by uh, Nico Nymphius. I hope I have pronounced your name correctly. So I just thought that I should do this tag because, you know, I collect Living Dead dolls and I really like them. And uh, I haven't done uh, one of these tags before. Only my uh, my uh, 500 um, subscribers special thingy <laughs> when I chose some. Uh, favorite dolls from each series, but that's something different. So this deck has uh, 10 questions in it, and now I will start answering them. So the first question is, how long have you been collecting? So I started collecting in 2016 January, so we are now in 2018 April when I'm doing this uh, challenge, and it's been two years and three months, I guess. Uh, since I started, so yeah, two years and three months, and that's not a long time, in my opinion. Uh, second question, how did you get into collecting? So I got into collecting uh, when, uh, in 2016, January, there was a, at, an, in a, ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> in a local, um, well, not really local, but in in my country, a uh, toy shop or toy uh, online toy um, store made a, like a contest. I can't remember what the theme was. Uh, we probably had to um, post some pictures or something like that, and uh, they made this contest, and I have won. And usually when you win, uh, they give you an amount of money that you can spend on their website. And that's what I did. So on their website I chose a figurine from the Walking Dead series, uh, the Punker Zombie figurine. And I chose my first ever Living Dead doll that back then they had in stock. And that was Genocide from uh, series 23 and she was left there all alone so I chose her because I don't know I just really when I saw her I really fell in love how she looked her dress her little hat her face is was amazing and you know I've, I've been a horror fan since I was little so and when I got her I was just amazed about the detail about the little death certificate I didn't know anything about doing that those before that and uh, that's what got me into um, Collecting. So after that, uh, almost after that, I have uh, bought my second doll, which was uh, the Evil Queen from uh, uh, from the Scary Tales collection, and so on. So that's what started uh, the whole craze for me. Uh, favorite doll. That's kind of um, hard. <laughs> so from my collection, from the dolls that I actually own, is. In first place is probably Romeo from the Romeo and Juliet set, or you know his seal wishes. Uh, and after him, I really, really, um, and I'm just looking up at my dolls. It's really hard to choose, honestly, because I love so, so many of them, and so many of them are my favorites. That, but probably one of my grail dolls that I have is Onyx from series 28. And I'm going to choose a third one, and the third one is pretty much probably Haymon from series 19. So yeah, those are the dolls that are my favorites from the collection that collection, the current collection that I own. Uh, from all of the Living Dead dolls that are out there, uh, I don't know. Uh, there are some huge grails for me that I was, until now, I wasn't able to get because they are pretty pricey. Uh, like, for example, Morgana, um, or uh, Isaiah, Isabel, um, 
Camila. Yeah, I guess those are some of the, my really favorite like dolls, and I, I'm just really uh, I, I'm I'm broke, <laughs> and I I'm not a, I'm I don't think I will be able to get them. Maybe if I find a really good deal, I don't know. Um, Question four, uh, favorite series. Um, well, my favorite all-time favorite series is probably the Fashion Victims because they are just so amazing, and I wish Mesco would bring them back and create more of the uh, from the regular series characters in Fashion Victims forms and boys too. I just really, really love the fashion victims. They are just so amazing and awesome, and and and, and everything. So it's I, those are my favorite, uh, favorite series. But if we are talking about like the regular series, series dolls, then it's probably my favorite, all-time favorite series is series 90, the vampires. Those that series was amazing. Uh, after that, I'm really, really a fan of series 33. The Moulinburg series because that was amazing. I really love the colors. They are my favorite colors: black, red, and white. And another really good series, and I'm really fan of it, is the series 31st, the Don't Turn of the Lights. I guess that was the name, if I remember correctly, or you know, the dark creatures that lurk in the dark series. So yeah, those three are definitely one of the best ones out there. The other ones, uh, yeah, the, the other ones were good as well, but those are um, like really, really good, <laughs> in my opinion, at least. Uh, five, most expensive doll you own. Um, it's kind of tricky because my most expensive uh, doll, or actually dolls, because it's a two-pack, or the... Romeo and Juliet set, and I bought it for uh, 60 euros plus the shipping was 20 euros, so I bought it for uh, 80 euros. But if I'm talking about uh, like an individual doll, like only one doll that was uh, expensive, it's probably the um, it's probably Beetlejuice and the original, like the first ever released uh, Beetlejuice in his striped costume. And, and I honestly can't remember how much I paid for him. I think I paid for him like 45 British pounds plus shipping, which was another 50 or something. So yeah, he's my probably my most expensive in individual doll. If you're talking about the two packs, is the Romeo and Juliet two pack because they were a huge grill of mine. Also, Beetlejuice as well. <laughs> um, six doll you wished you owned. Uh, as I said before, in my favorite dolls um, list, the grill dolls like again Morgana, Isabel, Isaiah, uh, Camilla. Um, honestly, I wish I owned the full series 90 series. Um, Hayes. Um, the unwilling donor, yeah, those are probably my most uh, wanted dolls. Uh, question seven: How many dolls do you have? Uh, I I I don't know honestly. <laughs> so just a minute, and I'm going to count them. And back after a quick count, so I have all of my series dolls plus, you know, the scary tales and uh, Living Dead Dolls Presents and the Fashion Victims. I have uh, 57 dolls currently, which is, I guess it's a, not a huge collection, but a pretty nice collection, if I do say so myself. Uh, question 8. Uh, sealed or open collector. I'm an open collector. I open all of my dolls. I don't care if they are sealed or or not because I have bought, bought some dolls that were not um, not sealed before. But I do display them in their coffin. So I open them. I take a look at them. I uh, uh, you know do some hair uh, judging and and stuff like that. Read their 
the certificates because I think that's one of the most coolest part. Uh, but yes, I put them back in their coffins and that's how I display them currently because I'm kind of running out of space for them in the in their coffins so I will probably eventually take them out of their coffins and display them like that so that I can save on space collector problems uh, question 9 least favorite doll uh, honestly I don't think I have a like a least favorite doll I think all of the dolls are cool or interesting in a way um, I don't know I'm just not like there are some dolls that I'm not like a huge fan of uh, I don't know honestly I don't know um, for example from series 24 I'm not a big fan of those dolls or uh, uh, maybe from series 32 not a big fan of those dolls either so yeah, but I just, there's no such thing as, as a least favorite doll for me, so I just can't choose one. Again, some of them I, I'm not a big fan of, but uh, regardless, I like any of them, I will, and I will gladly have any of them in my collection. And the last question is the least favorite series, so again, it's kind of hard to choose, it's not like I hate this series, but... I'm not a big fan of series, as I said before, uh, 24, and not a big fan of series 25 either, um, not a fan of series 32, that's why I actually skipped it, and actually I'm not a big fan of the newest, the anniversary series, series 35. I you, you know, we haven't actually seen like uh, up close photos or details of them because they haven't been released yet and I, I don't own them. I will probably because I did do a pre-order them so I'm getting them. But honestly I'm not a big fan of the dolls that were in there and probably it's an un unpopular opinion. But the only doll that I'm really like actually excited about in that series is Galeras. And the other ones are like, okay, but, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this tag. And, again, thank you so much for creating this tag, because it's fun and I like to do tags like this. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more tags like and challenges and stuff like that, like this. And for doll and toy uh, openings and reviews and stuff like that and also leave a comment down below you can leave your answers to these questions down below if you are up to it and you want to uh, answer them uh, like just in words and not in actual like a video but you can create a video I'm pretty sure the original creator wouldn't mind and um, yeah so that's about it thank you so much for watching guys Bye.